Hey guys, it's Annika Panika and today I'm doing another empties video. I believe this is number six and my tongue, yes, it's blue. I was eating the blue Sour Patch, so it's like the extreme Sour Patch candies or whatever. Um, and if you're wondering, I'm wearing gel eyeliner like in my waterline, which I never do. And I think it looks really, really extreme because I'm not used to it. But just let me know because... I feel like I look a little weird. But let's get on with the video. Let's start off with some makeup. So I don't have that many makeup products to share with you in this video, but I have my Rimmel London Fixing Perfect Primer, which I really love, and I have repurchased it, if you've seen in my other videos recently. Um, but I really like this stuff. I re recommend it. It's not that expensive, and I think it keeps my foundation on just as well. Like. I remember when I didn't have it and my foundation was just off like by the time I got home and I was like man what what can keep my foundation on and so I tried this and I really like this so um definitely recommend this. The next thing I have is my Rimmel London Exaggerate Eyeliner. That's funny they're both Rimmel London. Um this still has like a little bit left but it is a bit drying out. Um so yeah I, I did like this pretty easy to use after you get used to it. I might repurchase it, but I um, am just wanting to try a whole bunch of different other ones to see which one is like my favorite, and I really like trying different ones out. Um, I remember when I first got this, I sucked at applying liquid eyeliner, so that's why I hated it, but now I like it, so it just depends on how you do it, and yeah. And this is, um, it dries like a matte finish, so it's not shiny at all, it's matte if you're looking for a matte kind, so. Moving on to skincare, I'm starting off with my Up and Up brand eye makeup remover. And I really like this stuff. It's just the Target brand. And you know what, I think it works just as well. Um, I did repurchase it many times, but I might wanna try some other things just to, just get to know other products and stuff. Um, so yeah. And then I have three different makeup wipes. First I have the, um, this was like a holiday season one. I brought, it just has 15 in it for like vacations and stuff. Um, so I use that for vacations and then also just regular days. So I use those up. Nothing special really. And then I have my Clean Clear uh, Facial Cleansing Wipes Makeup Dissolving. Yeah, um, I don't know. I didn't find them like super special. And they did, I felt like a little bit of a sting on my face, but it wasn't like horrible that it hurt. But, um, yeah, it was okay. Definitely you probably don't want to put this on your eyes because it will hurt. They make it in your eye and they sting. So, um, otherwise, they're pretty good. And then I have my favorite ones, which are the Cleansing Towelettes Exfoliating Cucumber from Up and Up. Um, I really like this because I've told you before, but I like the exfoliating ones because I feel like it gets deeper in my pores to get the makeup and they don't stink, they smell good, they, um, I don't know, I just, I don't know, I just really like these. And then I have my Simple Soothing Facial Toner and I actually did like this. Um, it doesn't have a smell, so that's good, like it's not really scented because it's supposed to be like natural and, um, so yeah, 100% alcohol free. I feel like it didn't do a whole lot to my skin because I've been breaking out a lot on my forehead. So yeah, I feel like this didn't do a whole lot to my skin, but other than that, I think it's pretty good. And I know that other people like it, um, but I don't know, I don't think I'll repurchase it. It's not like really bad, but I like it anyway, but not enough to repurchase it. Oh my god, I keep like repeating myself. And then this isn't like beauty, but um, some allergy eye drops. The weather is just crazy this year, so I need some eye drops, and I ran out of these ones, so I took my mom's. But, um, I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll repurchase them, of course. <laughs> and then I have some body products. This is the Dove. <clears throat> this is the Dove Ultimate Go Fresh in pomegranate and lemon ver verbena scent. Um, I don't know. It. I mean, it broke. 
like towards the end and it smelled good. This is actually originally my sister's. That might seem gross or whatever that we use the same. She left it here when she moved um, and I just wanted to use it up so like we wouldn't just have one that we never use and just go to waste. So I decided to use it up and I don't know if I'd repurchase this because I really just like to stick with my gel ones. Um, I don't know. I think otherwise it's pretty good. It smells good. It's soft. Um, but I think it still gets on clothes no matter what people say. And then I have my Secret Clear Gel Outlast Protecting Powder Gel one. Um, so this one says no white marks. They usually don't have white marks and I think this one smells good. Um, honestly, deodorant, it's not like soup, it's not like the best. Like there's, n deodorant isn't. I mean, of course you're going to sweat. Of course you're going to smell every so often. So, um, I usually just stick with the same one anyway, gel. Because the secret brand usually only has the gel kind. But right now, um, I'm trying out a different one. I don't remember what the name is. But, um, they don't have many gel kinds. So. And then I have a body spray. This is Amber Blood. Blood. Then I have a body spray. This is an amber blush from Bath & Body Works and this is my favorite scent ever. And I really want like a full size and I hope it doesn't like discontinue anytime soon because I really want it. Um, but you know I just haven't gone there and I just have to wait till I get a job and get some money to go buy my own things. So I really like this and I definitely will go repurchase it. I have another one. This is Sexy Little Things body spray from Victoria's Secret and I actually um, got this from a friend and I think the bottle is really cute um, it smells good you know it, like people can smell it like it stays on you for a long time um, I don't think I'll repurchase it because it's not like like super great where I really really want it like it's not my everyday thing um, but it's still really nice and then I have some hair products this is the Garnier Fructus dry shampoo and um, this was okay I didn't find it any special anything special I heard of it from 11th Gorgeous they said that they loved it but I don't know it for me it didn't do what I expected like I wish it did more um, I feel like I could just feel like the residue um, maybe just not for my hair type because it says for fine or flat hair I don't have fine or flat hair so maybe that's why but it's okay. I won't repurchase it. And then I have another Garnier Fructis uh, Hydro Recharge 1 Minute Moisture Plenish Treatment for Dry Hair. So this was just like a little kind of sample thing my mom got with, I think she got like a hair dye or something and it came with this. Um, I just, yeah, I use this in the shower. It smells good. I feel like it didn't last me that long. Um, it definitely did make my hair soft, but I didn't see like a huge difference. Um... I probably won't repurchase it because it's just a sample, so. The last two things are soaps, which I always, like, have soaps at the end. I Tell me if you want soaps in here. I don't really know. But this is the Passion Fruit Fig Deep Cleansing Antibacterial Hand Soap with the little beads in it. Um, I thought this smells really good, and it's purple, so it's pretty. Um, there's still a little left in there, but you can't really, like, use it with the pump. You have to, like, dump it out, and I hate doing that. Um... But if I think it's seasonal, so if it comes out again, I wouldn't mind getting it again. And then I have this Tuscan Vineyard Italian Collection Antibacterial Foaming Hand Soap. And let me smell this again because I don't remember what it smells like. But I'm pretty sure I liked it. Yeah, yeah, I like this. I like this one a lot. Um, I don't know how to describe it. It's just um, very sweet, refreshing, and I love foam soap. Uh, it's like the best and sorry about the sun just kind of popped out it's like blinding me um but yeah I like this I wouldn't mind repurchasing if I see it again so that is all for my empties video this one wasn't as long so that's pretty good because I know some people don't really like really long videos even though I also talk a lot so just let me know if you enjoyed and leave video requests and let me know if you like the vlogs that I've been posting because it seems like it hasn't been getting a lot of views Maybe because it's so long, but just let me know it, what you want and I will do it for you. Um, 
yeah so i just hope you enjoyed this video so see you in my next one bye